Mouse Can't Jump by Philip Bowne and this is published by Neem Tree Press and this is a coming of age odyssey that travels from Cheltenham um, through Europe into Croatia, Ljubljana and ends up at Bled. Every so often at the Trip Fiction office we come across um, the odd book that maybe comes from a small publisher or um, you know is a debut author where you think Yes, this person has got talent and certainly with Cows Can't Jump and Philip Bowne, you know um, he has got writing talent, he's got um, a real gift for observation and for storytelling and after all that's you know a huge part of the writing process. Um, he starts off with a young guy called Billy who's in Cheltenham, he works as a grave digger, I think he's you know just late teens and he then goes off and works at a summer camp where he meets Eva or Eva and she is living in Switzerland normally um, but they work together and obviously that's where he starts to uh, blossom as a sexual young man. Uh, she has to go back home and he is determined to follow her but he is impecunious so what does he have to do to find the money in order to travel to Lucerne where she is. Ava then shifts the goalposts and she says um, she, she makes a rendezvous for them to meet up in Bled at the church. Now of course in Bled the church is um, set on a beautiful little island right in the middle of the lake and that is where they are to meet one midnight um, and he only has a few days to get there. And it's a great feat of method writing as opposed to method acting because in fact the author um, jumped into the lake and swam across to see what it would feel like to actually do this and have his character do it. So, you know, um, that experience really, really comes to life. Um, on the way to Bled, he meets lots of people, he has lots of encounters, um, and we always wonder, will he actually get to meet Ava at the end juncture? The story starts out uh, around the Brexit referendum that's just happened and so um, Trump gets into power in November. Um, so the reality of what's going on in the world um, is the background and the setting for this young man's journey um, across Europe. Um, I think he really observes people, he really observes um, the travelling process. Um, I laughed out loud several times and I think it has this kind of wacky side to it um, that he basically runs along it and just keeps it on the side of being plausible. Towards the end it slips over a little bit um, but I think overall this was a book that um, you know it was a pleasure to read and I think if you're looking for something a little bit different, um, a little bit quirky, um, some quaint storytelling um, then I think Cows Can't Jump and you will of course find out where the title comes from as you read the book. Um, I think it's a great one to pick up um, and it's great to support a debut author and uh, Neem Tree Press who are the publishers so you know good one to pick up. Mm -hmm.